Hello. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon, everybody. Here we are with uh, today is a listening Italian number twenty-four. Today, guys, something uh, different. Uh, not different because uh, I mean, yeah, definitely is something particular because he catch me. Uh, is uh, uh, this uh, how it works? Uh, why the golf balls have that much red surface okay with uh, with that regular uh, dimples uh, on top that is very interesting uh, and so i got uh, this by curiosity uh, but also because i think it's time beside the numbers to understand how we translate the symbols Uh, from English to Italian, okay, that is important guys, come on, I mean, okay, so I try, I try my best to, to, to shift, uh, to swing from, uh, uh, f f from uh, the most different and far away topics, uh, okay, because uh, I think, in my opinion, uh, this is uh, the, also how uh, to uh, learn a language in todo, okay, from A to Z, in all, uh, in all those nuances and variations about language. Okay, um, enough, let's go, let's go. Um, listening Italian 24, aerodynamic characteristics and flow pattern of a golf ball with rotation. Caratteristiche aerodinamiche e modello di flusso nel test di una palla da golf soggetta a rotazione. Credits to... Uh, this is, is from a university uh, of, uh, of Japan. So, uh, Mr. And Mrs. or Mrs. Katsumi o Aokia Koji Mutob Iro Okanaga. Okanaga. Sorry, I'm sorry. Um, results and considerations. Of course, this uh, is uh, huge. I but uh, since I was uh, the most uh, focused uh, on the the difference in pressure uh, in between the cavity of the dimples and the surface of the balls and what in both uh, okay basically basically the the difference in pressure is uh, less pressure inside the dimples and uh, higher pressure on the surface but Considering of the centrifugal force and uh, other parameters uh, like, uh, like the lift uh, parameter, okay, and uh, the resistance uh, from the air, okay, the penetration in the air, resistance of the ball, all these parameters, uh, when uh, during the, 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 the motus, okay, The, the ball enter in certain parameters considered the average in you know it's a range of average parameters that usually are uh, existent uh, in uh, average force um, given from a regular standard uh, golf play player So they, uh, they arrived at, the, at that conclusion of uh, how to shape the golf ball and how to avoid uh, that uh, the, the centrifugal uh, force also given from the spinning rotation and which verse of the spinning to give a more homogeneous trajectory to the balls, okay? And so, uh, do you remember Bjorn Borg? Oh, oh, uh, um, that he has been, uh, you know, the, the base for so many players 
in uh, playing tennis with the rotation, giving a strong, hard rotation, spinning, to the, that in Italian we, we call uh, um, a rotare la palla, to spin uh, you know, the, the ball, a rotare la palla. Um, but we have a thousand examples in the baseball, for example, in Japan. Japan, the baseball is very, very famous. It's a top sport. You know, the two knuckles uh, in um, uh, force to the ball, you know, in, in the throat. And also in, uh, also in the soccer, uh, in the American football. I mean to say all those rugby, all those sports involving the throw of a ball, okay, or an object, uh, this can be applied. But particularly I've chosen this one from the golf because uh, it's very, very interesting how the physics uh, intervene in... Uh, uh, in perfectioning a trajectory, uh, modifying the surface of the perfect, that's what we normally consider the perfect sphere, you know, but still it's not enough to, um, to optimize a trajectory because of the spinning force, okay, and all our other parameters that we have uh, in uh, dynamics, you know, in fluidodynamics, uh, air dynamics, whatever you, we want to use. Even if being a marine officer, I can say, quietly say, that the fluidodynamics is much, much more complicated in, uh, in the air, uh, air uh, fluid dynamics in the air, okay? The, um, considering the, the water fluid and the, and the air fluids really is a big, huge difference in the calculations. All right, let's do it. Results and considerations. Risultati e considerazioni. Aerodynamics forces on a golf ball. Forze aerodinamiche in una palla da golf. Figure 4 shows the drag coefficient CD with the variation of Reynolds number RE. The CD of the smooth ball. La figura 4 mostra il coefficiente di resistenza CD che in italiano in Italian we call CW. CW or CV con la variazione del numero o parametro we, we may even call parameter the number numero di Reynolds il coefficiente di resistenza della pallina campione a superficie liscia allora to be more precise in Italian I decided to better uh, specify, describe this smooth ball. You know, because in Italian we need a, a, a bit more than one word to, uh, to identify exactly what we are talking about. Okay, a smooth ball is, a, is a, a, a sample ball that doesn't correspond to the real golf ball used as a standard ball, okay? So in this case I call the pallina campione, okay? And then in Italian we use the diminutive of palla, ball. We use pallina, okay? Campione a superficie liscia, at a, a smooth surface. Campione is a sample. Um, is constant at approximately CD, uh, um, drag coefficient, uh, equal 0 0.45. For any RE and in the subcritical region. Okay, so these are the parameters uh, uh, utilized, used for this test. Okay è costante con un coefficiente approssimativo di 
CW, CW, CV, OR, CV, uguale a 0,45. Allora, so guys, in Italian, the dot 45 for a decimal, we identify, we use the comma, we don't use the dot. Ok? So, careful about that. The dot, we use, i punti, uh, we use only to separate the thousands, ok? And the hundreds, ok? Per ogni parametro differente di Reynolds è considerato nell'area subcritica. Ok, subcritical region, area subcritica. Uh, usually in physics we use uh, area, area, not region. Very rarely we use re region. Specifically in this I prefer to use area and not region. On, especially when you look at the diagram, no? Okay, we use uh, area. On the uh, other hand, the CD of the golf ball varies significantly with the RE. D'altro lato, eh, il, coefficiente, eh, il coefficiente di resistenza, I forgot to update in Italian the symbols, della pallina da golf varia significativamente con il numero di Reynolds. The change from the subcritical region to the critical region occurs at approximately RE equal 0.5 times 105. Let's see in Italian how we read the, the operation, okay? The multiplica multiplication, okay? D dividends and so on. La variazione dal campo subcritico a quello critico avviene, o course, avviene approssimativamente quando si ha un, er, un numero eh, di Reynolds uguale a 0, no dot, punto, virgola, 0, 5, moltiplicato. 105 right at this re the cd decreases suddenly to approximately cd equal 0.25 a questo valore di reynolds ok del numero di reynolds il cv diminuisce quasi istantaneamente raggiungendo un coefficiente di resistenza vicino allo 0,25. The dimples on the surface of the ball cause the critical region of the golf ball to shift a lower RE compared to that of the smooth ball. Le fossette uniformi. Uh, allora, so guys, here the dimples, uh, um, I translated, I used the term fossetta, that is a small uh, hole, okay, a small, uh, uh, how to call, uh, depression, okay, but we can even use the depressions in physics, la depressione, okay. Le fossette uniformi uh, sulla superficie, I, I added some adjective like uniformi in this case to better identify picture the, the, um, the standard golf ball, okay, how it's done, okay, so it's a uniform, uh, okay, this uh, uh, batch red, Uh, surface is uniform let's say every single dimple have the same size and the same depth okay and this has been carefully calculated in laboratory 
to give the result that the players need to, um, to optimize the trajectory of the balls. That's why I, I have been more descriptive on the Italian translation, okay? Le fossette uniformi. Sulla superficie di una pallina standard da golf provoca uno slittamento eh, shift slittare uno slittamento verso il basso a lower RE verso il basso del numero di Reynolds a differenza compared to a differenza of the smooth ball della pallina test a superficie liscia the sample ball ok without dimples smooth liscia figure 5 shows the drag coefficient cd and lift coefficient cl with the variation of the spin rate alpha for the case in which r e equal 1 Point twenty seven times multiplied by one o five. La figura 5 mostra il coefficiente di resistenza CV e il coefficiente di portanza CP con la variazione della forza centrifuga alfa. Considerato che il uh, numero di Reynolds, il parametro Reynolds, è uguale, fosse uguale a 1,27 per or moltiplicato, multiplied, 105. This RE corresponds to the free stream velocity of U equal 45 meters per second where u is simply the vector of velocity okay of any object running in a certain uh, um, direction questo uh, numero di reynolds corrisponde al flusso incidente imperturbato con U, vettore velocità, uguale a 45 metri al secondo. 45 metri al secondo, ok? And the alpha range from 0 to 0 0.2 corresponds to the rotation rate range from 0 to 4000 rpm revolution per minute Italia e l'intervallo alfa con valori inclusi da 0 a 0,2 corrisponde all'intervallo di velocità rotation rate range di rotazione compreso tra 0 e 4000 giri al minuto RPM but in Italian you will find always RPM the English initials ok so don't be worried about but in Italian we use giri al minuto revolution per minute the CD of the smooth ball is large il CV um, della pallina liscia è ampio we don't use largo in this case ok doesn't sound good in italian to say large largo we say ampio ok is wide ampio and the cl the lift coefficient of the smooth ball becomes negative in this alpha range and this is the main point i was talking on the beginning of the video uh, where why the reason uh, mainly has um, uh, the dimple has been applied and calculated okay to avoid uh, to give more range more uh, um, uh, range 
to the uh, golf uh, ball that uh, in the case that is uh, smooth uh, um, uh, the centrifugal force uh, uh, gives more uh, uh, um, gives more pressure okay to the ball to end uh, the trajectory uh, uh, closer to the to the thrower okay to the point uh, uh, to the position from the position okay so uh, of course considering the parameters that we will uh, read uh, in the next lines okay so that's why uh, one of the main reason um, of the dimple supplied is to uh, within uh, certain uh, values and parameters to give a longer range and smoother trajectory right and CLL lift coefficient um, and the CL lift coefficient of the smooth ball becomes negative in this alpha range. E il coefficiente di portanza della stessa diventa negativo entro questo intervallo della forza centrifuga alfa. Ok? Mm? The interval of uh, for 0 to 4000 uh, rpm okay mm -hmm. with alpha values uh, uh, included uh, comprised between 0 and 0 0.2 okay so i mean you know the uh, parameters are fundamental to have the final result okay to obtain that result that you want for an average spinning force applied to an average throw, throwing uh, uh, power and spinning, you know, I mean, it's not that easy, yeah. And that we and th that's exactly what we will find in the ping pong, in the tennis, uh, okay, um, in the soccer, in the American football, in the rugby, in the America, you know, and so many other sports. When it comes to throw in the in the javelin, you know, whatever uh, uh, whatever object you will throw, all these forces, these parameters will be involved in the trajectory in the you know in the imprinting force okay and in the spin of course this phenomenon has reported to occur as a result questo fenomeno è stato definito rapportato come il risultato of the negative magnus force acting on the smooth ball in this alpha range. Professor Scientist Taneda, 1957. We are talking of many years ago, ah, huh, guys? Dell'effetto Magnus, English Magnus, Magnus, Italian Magn, Gne, Magnus. All right, guys? negativo nel caso della pallina liscia in questo intervallo della forza centrifuga alfa ok Taneda 1957 the year ok l'anno then as alfa increases la forza the, the centrifugal force increases both the CD and CL of the golf ball increase. Golf ball here uh, uh, is the standard with dimples, ok? Inoltre, all'aumentare della forza centrifuga alfa, entrambi i parametri CV e CP, ok? della palla da golf standard I specify to better avoid confusion aumentano di conseguenza consequently they, uh, they, they increase okay 
we remember parameter CV is uh, the um, is the um, uh, uh, is the resistance coefficient. Okay, the um, the drag coefficient. Okay, coefficient the drag coefficient and CP. Uh, il coefficiente della portanza ok della palla da golf standard aumentano di conseguenza paragraph 4 2 flow visualizations around a golf ball visualizzazione dei flussi intorno ad una palla da golf oh guys Uh, I was included. Uh, I, I was included uh, uh, all the paragraph, but then I realized that I went uh, much over, well over the space uh, uh, on my uh, on the YouTube channel when I have to uh, I have to attach the file. Okay, and uh, every time I found myself to erase lines because it goes overflowing the space available uh, for the descriptions. So on this paragraph that is very important, uh, that was the focus of my uh, research, uh, um, the decision to choose this as uh, a topic of today, uh, I cut off uh, uh, and I have included only the final, that is the juice, that is exactly what I want to um, uh, to focus on this video okay then I s of course I put the, the link and from the link from the sciencedirect.com thank you very much it's very interesting very nice file very nice uh, site and file where you may follow okay and go uh, and read fully the article and there are also amazing uh, Uh, schemes and diagrams uh, where you will uh, really focus have uh, pictures on what's going on in uh, uh, the ball when uh, is um, uh, flying in the air okay in the fluid that is very very interesting that basically that there is a difference of pressure from uh, the both side of the both side of the ball and depends uh, uh, from the spinning okay if the spinning is uh, uh, going uh, in uh, um, uh, counter clock wise or anti clockwise uh, in uh, clockwise or anti clockwise uh, uh, of course the difference in pressures uh, will uh, uh, be difference in between one side and the, uh, the upper side and the downside uh, uh, of the ball okay depends on the point of view or the perspective uh, in the trajectory okay but guys yeah uh, so the pressure of outside the dimple is smaller than that of inside the dimple. La pressione esterna alla singola fossetta è più bassa rispetto a quella interna, which indicates that the velocity of outside the dimple is higher than that of inside the dimple. Il che indica che la velocità esterna alla fossetta è più alta. In few words, that translated that if uh, without dimples, yeah, okay, that's true that the uh, external velocity is high, it will be even much, much higher, okay, because of the pressure, but it will also get the other parameters okay the um, uh, to be higher and all of these parameters going higher will they will also 
um, uh, bring in the final result that the trajectory of the ball in a, a flat and a, a smooth ball will be shorter, okay, because uh, many more forces applied on the surface of the of the um, that from the figures and the schemes and the uh, diagrams posted in the file you will better visualize okay all right guys thank you very much uh, sorry for bothering you with this uh, out of the nothing uh, uh, topic but uh, it catch me it catch me and since uh, I was uh, directly involved uh, when I was uh, studying the fluid dynamics uh, of the um, uh, at sea in the ships and then comparing also with the um, aerodynamics uh, that I learn I, I get knowing in deep due to my brother uh, is an engineer um, so uh, I had also the many occasions to compare the aerodynamics with the fluidodynamics uh, and uh, also um, I will never forget just to tell you how complicated is the fluidodynamics in, in comparing with the aerodynamics uh, one time uh, my brother was working so many years ago um, with uh, a French company uh, what's name? Uh, aerospace. Uh, aerospace? I don't remember. Uh, it's a very famous company. Now I forgot. And uh, they use uh, mainly the software uh, Katia. Okay, for uh, fluidodynamics also. Because uh, for experimenting uh, a better uh, and smoother penetration uh, of the airplanes, they also uh, use. Uh, uh, hydro, uh, hydrodynamic fluid um, hydrodynamics in the fluids okay because the because um, the parameters are much of the calculation are much more complicated okay because uh, why very simple because um, because um, um, the penetration coefficient okay uh, the coefficient di penetrazione uh, uh, in the in the fluid okay nel mare nell'acqua is much more uh, 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 difficult uh, have much more uh, resistance okay and obstruction than in the air so they use uh, as a comparison calculation uh, from the fluid to um, to mirror the results in the fluid to the air to have a better uh, uh, aerodynamics. I know that this look seems uh, and sounds uh, strange, but uh, but it's very important. Okay, that's what they use also. You know, to have a better result in the aerodynamics in the uh, C, the famous CX coefficient. You know, I remember. Do you remember the Citroen cars from France? You know. They, 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 they were uh, the first uh, in the industrial, I mean, the, in the industrial, not in the experimental, in the industrial industry, in the car industry, they reach, I remember, 0 0.19 uh, CX or uh, something like that. And they also named the car. Do you remember the Citroen CX because of the coefficient? Very interesting, a lot of interesting. And, all right, I mean, there is a huge... Uh, uh, um, a universe to say about, uh, uh, but I mean to say, uh, I am already on thirty-five minutes. That is already too much to me. So, but I will, I will get back. Uh, I will get back because there is also uh, uh, we will we'll get back also in the stars observation, the parallax uh, error, uh, you know, the notation. Uh, the, um, the you know there is a lot of to say okay and also the penetration how to uh, how to um, to have a better uh, uh, penetration of the hull of the ships of the vessel of the boats uh, okay 
uh, there are a lot of uh, a lot of to say but that is uh, very very interesting and I have been lucky because you know what I'm not from the university but still uh, still in the nautical school uh, we study we study uh, the um, besides the trigonometry of course the spherical trigonometry for us is like our daily bread uh, but uh, also uh, we study a lot of also also about the um, hydrodynamic you know that uh, because of, of course we drive ships we drive uh, you know vessels and so we must know how the hull uh, react to have a better speed especially that uh, the the charterers they work on the thousand dollars uh, they, they can even because we have to know based on the diagrams we have on board uh, how to save fuel um, and uh, how many rpm we have to use based also on the sea condition on this as well to avoid to uh, consume uh, to have a, a useless additional consumption if the uh, sea condition and also the currents the surface currents streams uh, they don't uh, allow to have uh, a, a significant increase or a valuable increase. So we, as officer, we must know. So we consult. We go to the table to check. Okay, with this, uh, the, um, with this speed, with this RPM, RPM, and we we will consume. Uh, okay, uh, that uh, fuel. Okay, for having this speed, optimal speed, cruise speed, to arrive in next port of call at the same time as per the charter um, uh, prog um, programmation, you know what I mean. So, there are a lot of things uh, to say, but uh, mamma mia. Uh, I, I, I'm here to teach Italian. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much. Ciao. See you next. Bye.